so I'm playing around with this crazy new concept of the mute. And this is something that uh, Drew cut up at uh, FedEx, came from a, 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 um, a laptop shipping box. <laughs> we usually throw these away. But I cut it up, Drew gave it to me and said, dude, this is your mute. And so he was right. And so I cut it up. It, the problem is if it sits too high, it makes the strings uh, sharp. So you have to detune your bass every time you put it in or take it out. And it's a little less than my palm mute. Normally when I palm mute, it's like... That's the palm mute. So this is without the palm. sponge mute, if you will, makes it easier to be uh, agile with your right fingers. Because I can't do that when I'm palm muting. Unless I learn how to do the double thumbing thing that uh, Victor Witten and all the really great players do. I can't do it. I gotta practice. But I can swing. muting so this uh, sponge mute and it's a little loose on the E string I'm getting too much too much uh, resonance on the E string A string still kind of a lot D string less D -string, G string even less I guess because the strings are closer obviously so I need to cut it at an angle so that the width at the E string is the wider so the sponge is wider at the E string and narrower at the G string. But anyways, this is what it sounds like. slap still a little too long on the G but the other problem is oh I already talked about the tuning I have to retune When I put the mute in and then t tune it back up, would I take the mute out? Anyways, this sounds kind of cool. That A is resonating too long. So is the E. That's not so bad, actually. Maybe if I m just move it a little bit. A too long. Anyways. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
no harmonics to speak of. Barely there. 